Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Just yesterday, the internet space was filled with information on crisis in Funke Akindili Bilu's home. A lot of blogs came out to share information that they claimed was shared by their sources. Some say they have sources in the UK and some say they have sources in Nigeria. Who is feeding them information about the problems between JJC skills and Funke Akindili Bilu. Funke's husband is in London and he immediately reacted to this news on his official social media platform by sharing a picture of himself, his wife and their twin boys, stating how important his family and the institution of marriage is to him. But then Nigerians got divided. When Tosin Silver them, a blogger shared a comment which was made by JJC skills son. And from his statement, he insinuated that Funke is not what everyone thinks he is, accusing her of being a horror to live with. Then someone who claims to be a close contact of the family with a fake account went ahead to accuse the little boy of doing drugs and being expelled from school. He even said that DJC skills had to take him away from the school and beat him up and his eyes were swollen in the recent video they uploaded on social media. According to this person, well, as it is, the boy involved, Benito, is 17 years old and he's still a minor. All this information shared are based on rumor and they've not been confirmed. Benito's mother then went ahead to contact the blogger Tosin Silverton to take down the post, as the boy is still a minor. Well, the blogger is standing his ground right now, since the boy, even though he's a minor, he was the one who went ahead to comment on a public post. So he should be responsible for his comments. As he was the one who defend the star actress from Kakindili. And according to the mother, henceforth the blogger should contact her for any information as regards Funke and her husband and keep their son out of their business. As it is now, Tosi himself has given up on the story as Nigerians are dragging him that is a coward. As regards both sharing and withholding information which has been shared with him from close contact to the family. So now Tosi is backing out of the story totally and he released a statement on the speech he tied time I stay out of the Funga Kindele issue receiving different stories. Now the mother of JJC Skillsen has reached out to me to not involve a son. The boy is still a minor. Next time he should be careful of things he comments on social media space. I'm done with this story and I don't have the strength. Well, from all the information being shared on social media, the son was not involved in any story being shared until it made a comment on a public post. That is why they say parents should monitor their kids as regards using social media platforms. In fact, this was just less than a week ago that Funke was being attacked, that she was keeping her family away from social media. She hardly shares anything about her sons. She tied the knot with her husband in 2016 and eventually they were come there set of twins in 2018, December. And since then, the actress and her husband have not revealed the face of their twins to the public. As they believe the kids should enjoy their privacy for now, they should grow up in the same environment. She was doing an interview with TVC that Funke explained the reason behind that decision. And she was even saying she does not really keep her family private because she still shows her house, her husband, and the back of her children. It's not so private. But then she's not going to show everything. And then she stated that as regards the children's face, they are not old enough. In our words, when they are old enough, they should show their face if they want to. They should show their face. But for now, I don't want them to show their faces. I want them to have their life and enjoy it. Their dad and I are already in the public eye. Their children, don't forget, are vulnerable. So you just have to keep them away, keep them safe. Let them go to school. Let them enjoy their life without her. That's Jennifer's son. That's JJC's son. See his legs, see his face, leave them private. Well, over the years, Funke and her husband have become one of Nigerians' favorite couples. And many people have been sending encouraging words and prayers to the family. These are some of their reactions on social media yesterday as JJC's cues updated them from London. The woman Omolara in the commented, What God has joined together, no rumors are put asunder. Amen. Oh, Pearl's business and Pearl's comment, God bless and keep your home in Jesus' name. And you need so good so time to shut up forever. The woman with the handle did your care A2E also commented, May God continue to uphold this family. May it not fall apart in Jesus' name. Ashiri Babatunde also added, Hallelujah, oh my, the internet almost killed me. 
Abimbola, Fabimbola also commented, God bless you, brotherly. Your mind with my lovely sister is everlasting by the special grace of the Almighty God. And Lord Sings also commented, Family is truly everything, sir. You've got a very beautiful one. Grace here, brethren. God will hold your home, hold mine too, in Jesus' name. My mind is at rest now. Love you, ma. Funkia Kintili. Esther Bamishili also added, Almighty God, bless your beautiful, happy home. Okay, Walibulu Atife, I'm happy to say this. Rosy Rose, devil is a liar. Thank you, Jesus. Adiola Obadino, my prayers are with you and the family. Funga the Lord will not leave nor forsake you. Abex Good Health also commented, Thank you, Jesus, that it is fake news. May God keep both of you together till you get hold in love, harmony, and sound health. Kafi's clothing, may all my Kafi's clothing, may Allah continue to bless and uphold your home. Jumi's fabrics also had that this home will stand and stay in Jesus' name. Bright up me, Nigeria and Awa, thank God. My heart hurts before. I'm damn happy now. Toby Babs also had a thank you, Jesus. Baba Dada, Oshi. God bless your home. Antifonke, make a rest my mind now. Hajia Medina, the beautiful family of the Belus, together forever, inshallah. Miss F. Black, God will surely continue to keep your home. The devil is truly a liar. Idowu Twin also commented by having lots of heart signs and saying, Believe me, I can go on and on. But I'll stop here because I don't want my post to be restricted. I love this family. Funka has been able to carve a successful niche for herself over the years. She's not just an actress, she's also a film producer, scriptwriter, and an entrepreneur. Even though her name is Hunga Kindili, she's probably called Jennifer, going to a character she played in a movie titled Jennifer. Her journey to stardom started when she played the role of a curious but brilliant secondary school student in the Bobala TV series I Need to Know, which aired from 1998 to 2002. I Need to Know is a United Nations Population Funds for Social Income program, created to enlighten the public on the issues teenagers face while growing up. Since then, she has featured and written and produced many movies including lots of Yoruba movies. Um, or get to or a like trip to Jamaica, Uroka, Miami, just to mention a few of them. And apart from all this, she's also a successful entrepreneur. She's the CEO of C1 School of Drama and C1 Production. She also has lots of maltrotion endorsement deals and earned several local and international awards over the years. However, even though she's quite successful, she tries to shy away from controversies. We come to the end of this episode where more details got leaked and there is some accusation on JJCQ's son as his mother reacts and the blogger also gives up on this news of Funke and JJCQ's. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for daily content.